So how do I get my planner tasks and plans right into Power Apps? So how do I do that? Today we're going to go over that. This is a brief video. You don't have to watch an hour long video just to get how to do this. I'm going to show you in a couple easy steps here in just a couple of minutes. So stand by. We'll jump right to it. So here's what we're doing here. This is a pretty simple task. We're, we're clicking on general tasks. Let's say we want to go personal. So then all of the tasks related to that kind of comes up here. So this is what we're doing today. You can figure out all the fluffy stuff that's associated with making it look pretty, but let's go ahead and jump into how we actually did that. So first of all, the very first thing that you have to do is you have to create a connector. And remember your connectors are over here and you're just gonna add a connector. Just go in here and search for planner and it'll come up with this and then you connect it to your environment. It's really, really simple and it calls a connector planner, generally speaking. So there's your planner, so that's pretty easy. The next thing you wanna do is, um, let's go ahead and make this so you guys can see the screen just a wee bit better. And I'll throw in how to get your picture up there here in just a moment. So first thing you want to do is you want to input a, a gallery. And the gallery here is right here. You can see here where it says gallery plans right here. And this is the value that I'm using here. Very simple. Just list planner. Remember, that's the connector we just created. List my plans is a uh, value that we can put in there dot value. Now, that's it. I mean, it's literally that easy. Now, when you first do this, you may see that this may look like this when it comes up. So no problem. Just put in right here, title, and then you're good to go. And then, so that's the first gallery. So I went to gallery, I hit vertical, I adjusted my gallery. If you don't know how to do that, see other videos. Then once I have this up, now I want to, whenever I click on this, to come up with a second gallery. So I inserted a second gallery named a gallery tasks and I inserted that gallery here and I'm filtering on any task that's less than 100%. So if you copy this code exactly how I have it here, remember I'm on items here, exactly how I have it here, I'm just saying list my tasks and then putting in the value and then I'm calling gallery plans right here, this gallery name and then I'm saying, hey, select that ID and percentage complete is less than 100. And so that's how that works. And so when you hit play to run this, if I go over here, I can just see the things that are less than 100. So let me show you real quick. I'll show you at the end and we'll actually run a test and open up Planner and do a couple tests so you can see it actually worked. Okay, so that's all you do. Remember, the key thing here is when I'm in gallery tasks, don't forget, don't forget to, excuse me, don't forget to click on the item itself. Okay, right here, it's under title. Right here under item, don't forget to click on that and say title, not ID. Because remember, if, you, if it says ID, it's going to look just like this. Okay, and we don't want that. Okay, because it's a little hard to read. <laughs> okay, so just title is what we want, and then the title will show up. So that's pretty much as easy as it is to get your tasks to show up here. You can add filters, you can add searches. As you see, I added a filter to mine. It's pretty flexible. They're galleries and it's data, so do whatever you need to do with that. Now, before we go to the live test, how do I get this picture up here? Very simple. Just go here. Just you're going to insert a um, let me see here. Where is it? Media image right there. So insert media image right there. And then for the image itself, you're just going to say user image. So so where it says image right there, we're just going to click on that. Type in user image and there it is right there. So this will be whoever logs onto your system. So let's run one quick test here so you can see how this works. Okay, so personal here. We got personal, let's just say closing prayer right there. We're gonna click on here and um, I'll move this over so you can see that. 
So close prayer right there. So I'm gonna click on that. So notice that it's complete now in my planner. Let's go back over to the Power App. And why is it still there? Well, it's there because we haven't refreshed yet. So, so don't panic. Let's just flip back to general tasks and then let's go to personal. And then you'll notice close prayer is gone. It's pretty much that simple. So good luck. That's how you add a plan and tasks pulling directly from planner. Oh, by, why would I use this? I would use this. Let's say that I'm coordinating between a list or some other data source. That's why I general I created this was I have a, a SharePoint list that I'm working with and I reference the task IDs that are located in here in that SharePoint list. So as I'm editing the SharePoint list, I can see all of the tasks that are assigned. And on my other screen, although we're not going to go into it in this video, I can edit the details as well. So stay tuned to other videos and we'll go over that.